Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up, proud of you. In the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Sure, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Guys, in conclusion today, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. I think it doesn't. The thing that matters is that it's pepper time. When you can hear the person on the other end who's saying these things directly to you and they're saying them directly to you, that's a whole other level of harassment, really. Timmy B is making music that takes risks and blows minds. Takes risks and blows minds. Timmy B put it all on the line when he missed his fifth period geometry test to hit the studio to record this sick track. He put it all on the line. In tracks with a kind of firepower. <laughs> Timmy rolls with his mom everywhere. He brings fire tracks and his mom's his biggest fan. He rolls with his mom everywhere. We got enough for everybody. This is not the only box. This is not the only box. Can you get in line? The line's right here. Got enough for everybody. Just back up. Can you guys, look at, look at what you're doing to me. Can you guys back up? We got enough for everybody. Just back up. Everyone's screaming and shit. Is this supposed to make me feel good? It makes me terrified. It makes me ashamed to be a human being. Wow, Ethan, great moves. That's so, something so weird and obscene about calling your vagina a cookie. Why aren't we calling vaginas the, the slab of roast beef? The slab of beef? The vulva, the wookie, the slab of rotting beef. I mean, let's be honest, what reminds you more of a fucking vagina? Roast beef, okay? A slab of beef or a fucking cookie, for Christ's sake. A cookie, I mean, come on, you guys are just, you guys are flatting, you guys are straight out, this is straight out f vagina propaganda. <laughs> Dude, did you see? Did you see the way he pushed that button? He seems like a natural talent. Let me, let me see that again. Oh my God, dude! How how does a young guy go so hard? Timmy Brabston. I think we need a slow motion on that. <laughs> You're a producer now, Timmy. Shut up, Bob. Get the fuck out of the studio. What's been about? Five months since I started doing all this. Five months? Dude, nobody's been in the game that long. Did he say five months? Nobody has been grinding for that long. Previously on- Are, are you crazy? crazy? Are, are you out of your mind? mind? Previously on how many kids are on Kobe Person's speed dial? Mmm, Kobe's role playing as a 15 year old girl now. That's sexy. I wonder what he, I wonder what that looks like. So many creeps online. I'm gonna teach these kids a lesson. Game assassins out there, you think I was born looking this cool? No, I used to look like you, losing to noobs every day. That is until I discovered gamer gear that got my fashion on point and I never lose to noobs anymore. Gamer gear glasses help you see the game and look cooler than ever. And our trademark item, gamer water. Dude, fuck yeah, man. This water is pulsing with energy. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I can't see. I can't fucking see through these things, dude. I'm waiting for it. It's gonna get weirder. I know it's gonna get weirder. I'm waiting for it, dude. I love Chinese food. Oh, no! He did it. He took it to the next level, dude. You see that? Look at that. <laughs> Just because of that, you get to keep this. One fucking dollar, Daniel. One fucking dollar, you're gonna slow-mo and dramatic music me for one dollar, dude? It's like, man, I'm homeless and even this wasn't worth my time, dude. I just wanna help people and record it. 
and put it on YouTube. It's the story of my life. And I want to take all the color out. Black and white only. Slow most 90% of the time. Emotional music. It's the story of my life. I want everybody to see this. Ah, it's my vision. I want to do is just like <laughs> get peppered. God, you can't escape the pepper beast, dude. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, I'm writing this suicide note because I've just taken a Don't Judge Me challenge and, I mean, do we really need another obnoxious cunt like me in the world? I mean, there's so many of them already. Just type Don't Judge Me challenge and I can't believe how many people are actually doing this. So in summary, goodbye Mom, I love you. Your cooking wasn't the best, but I won't hold that against you. Goodbye. The vile scenes are then posted to YouTube. Holy shit, he just shot him in the dick! Three times in the dick! How are they gonna show that, man? I get the feeling at like stations like this, there's just one dude back there who's in charge of the dick shot montages. Hey, Bob, roll the dick shots. Dick shot! Just roll the dick shots, Bob. That's deplorable and should not be allowed anywhere. Like, they should be banned. Should be banned. Oh, shit, dude. And on behalf of Expert Village, I'm here to show you how to meet a woman at a supermarket. Yeah, boy. That's the first place I think about when I'm ready to meet women. First of all, I love your choice of the cosmetic aisle of Right Aid. That's definitely where I see all the fit birds hanging out. So this guy knows what's up here. Let's see what's up. Is that how it's done? That's how, what's happening? What, what is this? Whoa, look at that case, dude. Whoa, she's into it. She's interested. So that was a perfect example of great eye contact. That's it! That's a perfect example! It's a perfect 10! Dude, Alan did it! Touchdown, Alan! Wow! I've never seen such eye contact like that before. Ela, don't watch this video. I'm afraid you might get caught in the gaze of Alan. RH, NBR. Just the right height. No bucket is required. Oh yeah, I've got this horse in my shed. She's JRH, NBR. Just the right height. No bucket. Come on, you didn't have to say the whole thing. I know what JBRH NBR is. Come on, dog. Come on, you think I just started fucking horses yesterday, dog? You're gonna place the mirror on one side. And you're gonna put the image of your attacker, the fetish link, on the other side. Once you have your black salt ready, pour it in a bowl. And with everything in place, gaze at the arrangement and feel the effects of the curse. Pushing it with your breath into the mirror box. Now, you're going to want to put this away where you can forget about it. So that you can forget about the curse and forget about your enemy and get on with your life. Frankly, Ela, it's not even fair how easy it is to get pussy with these bracelets right now. And that's how you use Gamer Gunk Cleaner Ginger to clean your Gamer Gunk. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what the power of a ganging gamer duster cleaner can do to clean up your gaming gear to become the ultimate game assassin. Thanks, gum dust off gamer gear. My house has never been cleaner thanks to your cleaning product. Come on, who's the genius salad who thought of this one? Was it you, Caesar? Or was it Greek? Cobb? Come on, Cobb, it was you, wasn't it? You're the smart one. Everyone loves Cobb salad. What's this created by Dick Wolf? Well, you know the show's gonna be good when you got a guy when the man behind the curtain's name is Dick Wolf. And who could forget his accomplice, co-producer, Speed Weed. Can we get some Emmys for Dick Wolf and Speed Weed? Ah. <coughs> I know, I read on Kotaku that it's better than Civ Five with the Brave New World expansion pack. Why would you say that? Ice-T, what happened to you, dude? How did you come to this, man? You're telling me you played Civ 5 with the Brave New World expansion pack? Wow, dude! You really know what you're talking about. Wow, I see a gamer! Kissing prank and kissing prank. Kissing prank. Kissing prank! God set you up! I love how much pride he takes in that chub and tuck. Business professional. He's got one, he did one thing wrong with the chub and tuck. He's playing it coy. See, he's putting it down like that. That way he doesn't accentuate the chub as much, but me, 
I know what, I know how to play to my strengths, you know what I mean? That's a chub and tuck. This guy makes tuck and chub in like an executive order, dude. I mean, I'm, I've got like a tuck and chub mullet, you know? Business in the front, party in the back. Do things you like, try to get engagement, with some photos from my life, my cat, my kids, some bacon. <laughs> Showing you photos from my life, my cat, my kid, my bacon. All right, Tuck and Chubb, you didn't have to tell us about your bacon, dog. I, I made that assumption already, based on your formal Tuck and Chubb. I should get on Tinder and just send, send bacon pics. Do you have bacon pics? ASL, bacon pics, ASLB, age, sex, location, bacon pics. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to introduce you to our new Facebook page, so Flow Bro. We're posting the most original comedy, and I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun. We made all of the videos here. Please come check it out, guys. Thank you. This is how I feel when I rip off a Sofo Antonio video and put my own intro before it. What are the chances? I can't believe it. That women, you know, do feel the cold more than men. They're kidding, right? Uh, come on, this isn't on the news really, right? I mean, this, she's not, she's not serious, right? This is happening, that women, you know, do feel um, the cold really more than men. men. And that the AC in offices is making you more than you're not gonna get there if your gear's all crapped up with gamer gunk, dust, chip dip, greasy, sticky, slimy game residue. I'm a real gamer. What? There's fucking meat in the boot! There's meat in the fucking boot! They shoved meat in the boot. Like, how much more resistance can a fucking steak add to a sword cut? They just did that to weird me out, dude. Like, the boot cut was cool, dude. Why did you have to put the steak in the boot? What is wrong with these people? Someone actually took a steak and shoved it in the fucking foot of a boot. And then that's not enough. You have to cram it into the foot part. He crammed the fucking steak. Look at this, dude. Someone shoved steaks in a boot. What the fuck? And it's so unexpected. It's just like a boot. You're like, cool, dude. You're gonna cut, up the, you're gonna cut the toe off the boot. But there's a fucking steak in the boot. Level completed. This is a game to them. I can't. I can't do this, Hula. I need. I need to take a break. I can't. I need to take a break. I can't watch this right now. I need. Just give me ten minutes, Hula. Die, fucking gamer, bro! Fucking camper. I want to kill people in real life. <laughs> Killer be slaughtered, dude. Killer be fucking slaughtered. Nice, nice uh, preset title graphic there. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's how you know a channel's cancerous when their intro looks like this. <laughs> Every fucking wannabe prankster and prankster channel has these outrageous like graphical presets, <laughs> like fucking Michael Bay Transformers Eleven, and then it's just like some dudes like. 120 pixel webcam. Hey, what's up guys? Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Stupid Pranks. Today, we're going to... We'll do some more pranks here, guys. Wake up, sheeple. It's time to understand that we're all being controlled. But what are we gonna do about it? Smash our stuff. I actually really needed that laptop. It's okay, my parents will buy me a new one. They're fairly well off. I mean, I could buy it with my own money, but I'd rather spend that on weed and stuff like that. Ela? Mm hmm What the fuck is this? Is this a bowl cut? Or a broccoli cut? I feel like he's missing out on what's out there in the beautiful world. That special connection with nature, I think it's innate in all children, but needs to be nurtured. Guy just like sitting in a dark room with his laptop, just chatting up all these little girls all night. 